Hey, I'm Shay, and welcome back to my channel, Books with Shay. I am so excited to be back and filming for you guys. Why is this so hard? I have been gone for a minute and it's like I cannot get back in my rhythm. So I'm so excited to be putting out content for you guys during this time with everything that's going on in the world. I definitely have had a little bit of a hard time with it and I wanted to give you guys some of the tools that have helped me through this time and will hopefully help you through this time. And so I decided to start a new series on my channel. This this series is going to be called bingeable and it is going to give you a bunch of bingeable bookish content. I'm hoping there will be a lot of videos in this series that you're able to watch and I'm going to tell you guys about books and other types of media that you can consume during this time to kind of take your mind off of things. So for this very first episode I thought I would start with my top five bingeable audiobooks and the reason why I chose to do that is because I like everyone else am obsessed with my Switch right now. I am obsessed with Animal Crossing and I am playing it a lot and so while I'm playing it I like to multitask and get two things done at the same time and also listen to an audiobook. So I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorite audiobooks of all time along with some that I have read recently and really enjoyed. So for the very first one I'm going to start with an audiobook that most of us know and love. It's kind of polarizing because there are people who think the UK edition is better than the US edition. There are people who are not reading the series right now because the author has lost her mind but I wanted to share it with you guys. I thought this this list would be missing something without it because it is my favorite audiobook series of all time or my favorite series of all time to listen to an audiobook and that is Harry Potter. So there's I have my whole Harry Potter shelf behind me. There's three rows of Harry Potter right here. So I am really excited to listen to the Harry Potter series again. I'm actually listening to some of the books for my OWLs that I'm sitting next month for that readathon. I will link the information for that down below and you guys will get a TBR slash OMR video for that pretty soon. But I really really like these books. I feel like even though they're not perfect they definitely suck you into the world. I really I listen to the versions that are narrated by Jim Dale. I know there are ones that are narrated by Stephen Fry, the UK edition, and I have not been able to get those in the States because I would love to experience the series again with a different narrator. But no matter who your narrator is, I think that this is a great book to binge while playing Animal Crossing or just while you're stuck at home. Because especially when it's a childhood favorite, it's easy to listen to it while we do other things and so that's my first recommendation. The next two audiobooks on this list are by the same narrator so even though they have different authors they have the same voice actor that does the narration for both so if you have listened to one of these but not the other you will be able to tell if you'll like the other one based on if you liked the first one. Does that make sense? Anyway so number two on this list is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I really love this audiobook. I did a combination like you guys know for most of the books I read I do a combination of listening and reading for just about everything. I listen when I can't read, I read when I am able to read physically. Sometimes I'll listen while I read because that enables me to listen to the audiobook faster because I read physically faster than I can listen to an audiobook so I'm able to amp up the speed if I'm reading with it. And then when I stop reading physically I normally can keep it at whatever speed I was listening at so I really like that. Anyway so I did this one, this this book was no different. I listened to and read Nevernight and I thought it was such a solid audiobook. I loved the voices for like Mr. Kindly and just there were it was there's so much about it that I really really like. So if you have not ever read Nevernight it is a fantastic bingeable series to begin with but also listening to the audiobook I think makes the experience even better if you have read it but haven't listened to the audiobook. I totally recommend picking up that audiobook. And then next on our list is is one of my favorite books of all time. This is tied for my favorite book. This might be my favorite book of all time. I really really like it. So the next recommendation that I have for you is Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. If you guys have heard me talk about it it will come as no surprise to you that this is my absolute favorite book. I just love it so much. However 
it can be kind of slow in the in-between, much like the next book I'm going to recommend. And the thing that I like about it is that when you are engaging in something else, like if you're playing Animal Crossing and you want to listen to something, it is a good time to listen to a book that has some slow places in it because you have something else to kind of hold your attention. So in the end, I feel like this book, this the place in the middle that can be kind of slow, it's worth it for the information that it gives you so that the end of it can blow your mind. I let me know if you've read Name of the Wind. Let me know if you like it as much as I do. I flipping love it. It's also LT's favorite book of all time. We just we stand Patrick Rothfuss in this house and I will just die if he ever releases the third book in the series. But yeah, so you should try listening to Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And then the next recommendation that I have for you is another book that can seem kind of slow, but I feel like is worth it in the end. And that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I read this for the first time last year in 2019. And it was a five star read for me. I absolutely love it. It is so whimsical and fantastical. And the writing is just so beautiful. And I think the narrator on this does an awesome awesome job and so this is another one like I was saying that can be kind of slow towards the beginning slash middle portion if you are looking for something that is a good thing to listen to while you're splitting your attention like so you're doing something else that's kind of holding your attention this is a really good one for that because it is definitely every part of the book I think is necessary and I do think that it's worth it in the end but again it can be kind of slow. The last recommendation that I have for this video this is going to actually end up being a pretty short video and I wanted to keep it kind of short and sweet because I want to do a lot of these videos in this bingeable series and I wanted you to be able to watch them quickly and back to back and get a lot of recommendations and so for the next book that I'm recommending the next audiobook. This is one of my favorite audiobooks of all time. I really, really loved it. And it is funny and lighthearted and a great thing to listen to while you're stuck at home during social distancing. The only thing is that it is only available on Audible, so you will have to have an Audible account in order to be able to get this. I will link my referral code in the description down below. This is obviously not sponsored. But I totally wish Audible holla at your girl like I will 100% rep you but I will put my referral link down below so that you guys can get it. And this last recommendation is Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words and it is so funny. I really really enjoyed it. I will say if you are sensitive to sexual topics this may not be the one for you. It is definitely Definitely not like just smut or anything but she works in a recording studio as a receptionist and in that recording studio they record erotic novels and she is kind of like a goody two-shoes and gets this job and doesn't realize what kind of place she's going to be the receptionist for and so she starts a po podcast as kind of a challenge to herself to learn to be more comfortable with saying these dirty words that she's hearing all the time and it's like a her finding herself story and it's a romance and it's just it's so much fun I really enjoyed it. So Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words which you can find on Audible. And I was trying to make this about 10 minutes or shorter and I'm hitting 10 minutes right now. So I'm hoping I can edit it down just a little bit so I can squeeze within that 10 minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed my five audiobook recommendations for while you are stuck inside for social distancing or playing Animal Crossing or just for any time. And I will see you guys so soon in another video. <laughs> I will see you guys so soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>